Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sammy Fryer, licensed realtor in the state of South Carolina, servicing the PD and the Grand Strand. And in our effort to continue to educate the public in all things in our field of real estate and real estate transactions, today we are addressing an area that quite possibly is bigger than any of the other ones that we talk about. And the way I say it is this, this area of the transaction is really where the rubber meets the road. And so today we're gonna look at the real estate attorney's role in the process of real estate transactions. So today I'm joined by an attorney friend, Mr. Greg, Greg Hendrick from Finkley, Hendrick & Blake here on West Evans Street in Florence. And so I'm going to let him introduce himself and start off by telling us a little bit about the attorney's role in the real estate transaction process. So Greg, why don't you introduce yourself to everyone and tell us a little bit about what you do. Sammy, thank you for having us. Glad to sit down with you today and talk through this process because it's always good when folks come to, to meet us for their, especially if it's their first closing, that they understand our role in the transaction. I feel personally very fortunate to be involved with, with real estate closings because we're, we're helping investors buy properties, you know, to, to hopefully benefit their family in the long term. And certainly with residential properties, we're helping families buy and sell their home where they raise their families. Uh, we act, when you want to know about the, the role of the attorney in those transactions, we act as what I like to refer to as the settlement agent. So there's a lot of different moving parts with the closing, as we all well know. Um, and we're sort of at the center of that process in the fact that we gather all the documents that are needed, gather the, the money, get everything in one place, and then we meet, hopefully, at the closing table. Sometimes there's situations where folks have to do things remotely, and we're glad to accommodate that. But if we can meet at the closing table, we go through everything, make sure that the buyer and the seller are comfortable and know what the what the they're signing off on and we then handle the process of registering everything at the courthouse and dispersing all the funds so that in a nutshell is our role as the closing attorney one thing that i run into a lot uh, particularly with first-time home buyers is a lot of times a client perhaps doesn't have a personal relationship with their realtor they didn't have a pre-existing relationship with their lender and they don't they don't know any of the parties involved in the transaction whether it's the termite guy the inspector or the attorney and so people naturally a lot of times are apprehensive or concerned or want to have peace of mind to know that they're not going to be taken advantage of so from your perspective what types of things at least on your end are baked into the transaction process to protect consumers in a real estate transaction. Absolutely. So we've all been there ourselves. You go and do something that you never experienced, never done before. It's a big decision in your life. You're potentially you're moving from another state. Um, you're not familiar with, with what the process is that you're going through. So uh, we've done this thousands and thousands of times as closing attorneys, and it's our job to go through everything with the folks. I know that the, the package that you're signing can be daunting, so we like to make sure and go through page by page and make sure that, that the buyer understands what they're signing. Um, we've examined the title in the courthouse so we know that there's no liens or judgments or anything like that that would transfer with the property. Um, and at the end of the transaction, I like for folks to come back and say, you know, that wasn't nearly as, as bad <laughs> as what I expected. So that's always my goal. And one of the things that sometimes when I have a buyer at the closing table that uh, I can tell is, is nervous in a lot of cases, one, one of the things that I wish I could say, and oftentimes I do say, is if you're signing these loan documents, it's very similar to what everybody else, myself included, that's ever signed a loan package has signed. So it's my job to make sure that they understand exactly what they're signing, what's going to be expected of them after the closing, what their obligations are going to be. Um, but everything in the end works out just fine. Yeah. And so another thing as a realtor from our vantage point in the process, uh, the word smoothness is important because there can be a lot of a lot of there's a lot of ins and outs and a lot of details. There's a lot of minutia involved in a real estate transaction. What, if any, tips would you have for home sellers and or home buyers that they could implement to make their transaction process smoother? Yeah, so there are absolutely a lot of moving parts with a real estate transaction. 
And when you're in the midst of that storm, if you will, it can be a little bit overwhelming. But I think as far as uh, the tip, uh, I would just distill it down to say that communication is absolutely key. And that's between our office and the realtors, our office and the lender, and especially our office and the parties. So if you're buying or selling real estate, whether it's me that's doing the closing or some other attorney, I think that communication is 100% key. As a buyer or a seller, you should never feel like you can't speak with your attorney directly, that you have to go through some other channel or anything like that. I'm always glad to, to speak with the buyers or the sellers or any other party and answer any questions that you have to make sure that our communication is clear. And even if it seems minor, just so that I know what's going on in the transaction and what questions you might have so that I can make sure that the buyers and sellers are, are comfortable with what we're doing. Yeah, and I will echo that because communication is something that I preach vehemently to the clients that I work with. I would rather over communicate than have a situation where we've not communicated something effectively. Yeah, that's true in any business transaction or marriage or anything else. Yeah. So it's, <laughs> you can't do business if you can't communicate. As far as tips for sellers, a lot of times if you if you are buying or if you're selling to a family member or something like that and you already have a buyer lined up, that may be something that we can, can help you with uh, without a realtor involved. But I would certainly encourage you to call someone like Sammy and, and hire a realtor if you intend to market the property because what happens in a lot of cases, folks will put property on the market as for sale by owner and they find that it's just an onslaught of people that, that come to you that really aren't qualified and a lot of potential pitfalls that can be avoided by hiring a, a good competent realtor to handle the transaction for you. So another thing that I'm aware of is sometimes there seems to be a shroud of mystery over the closing table for the public. So could you just briefly explain what typically, and I know this can vary sometimes from case to case, but typically speaking, what is needed? Uh, what do you need to bring to closing? And then what should buyers and sellers expect to be covered at the closing table? So two of the main things that you uh, need to make sure you're aware of when you come to the closing table, if you're buying or selling property, bring some form of ID because with the seller, we're required when we notarize the documents to to show that we've verified the person's identity. And often on the buyer side, the lender requires that before they will fund the transaction. Sometimes they require multiple forms of ID, but typically a driver's license will suffice. The other thing that I would mention is that as far as a buyer bringing funds, those funds will need to be either a certified check or a wire. And we, we always try to remind folks of that. I think the lenders try to remind, the realtors try to remind, but there's always a, a fear or a chance that that could slip through the cracks. So I just, anytime I have the opportunity to mention that, I try to make sure that folks are aware that we can't disperse on the transaction, no matter who you are, with a personal check or, or funds that have not yet been verified. So as a lifelong resident here of this community, I know that Finkley, Hendrick & Blake is a staple in our community here. Um, and there's some things that you guys do that are a little bit unique, I believe. Would you like to take the time just to let the audience know Anything specifically about Finkley, Hendrick, and Blake that's relevant? Yeah, I was born and raised here in the Florence community and came back after law school to practice, practice law here. And we pride ourselves in being local attorneys, helping folks that live here in the PD region. Uh, one of the things that we try to do that makes us a little bit unique among law firms in the PD is we try to be able to take care of all aspects of what you might need in the real estate process. And what I mean by that is sometimes probate issues come up. Oftentimes there's issues where something might need to be cleared up as far as a title issue or something. And we try to be able to handle all those issues here in house so that we can maintain control and hopefully get things done as expeditiously as possible. Um, so that's, that's one of the things that I feel like sets us apart. But we, we do a lot of things here in the community and we're very, thankful and, and grateful to be able to work with, with our friends and neighbors here in the Florence and the PD community. One of the unique things that we've done here, uh, we've recently renovated the building and added on, and we, we added a drive-through window. And I get a lot of jokes about that, um, you know, because it's a little bit different than what you normally see with a law firm. But 
I think that my, my partners and I here saw that there were a lot of times there were folks that for whatever reason, elderly or, or any other situation, they oftentimes it was hard on folks to, to come into the building uh, to pick up something or drop off just very briefly. And so we, we added that drive-through window so that folks don't even have to get out of their car a lot of times to drop off documents. And it also helps realtors, which I, I'm sure you can appreciate if you're just coming back to, to pick something up or drop something off to us for a transaction, you're busy. Uh, it helps out a lot to not have to come into the building and um, wait at the window or anything like that. So just little stuff like that we try to try to do to make the process more efficient for folks. I don't know whose idea the drive through window was, but that was a fantastic <laughs> idea. As I said, Finkley, Hendrick and Blake have been in this community a very long time. Uh, I've known that name as long as I can remember. And I do want to just circle back to that word communication. That is so important in every phase of the transaction, whether it's your lender, obviously I'm going to say your realtor and your attorney is we can't overemphasize the importance of good communication coming from both sides. So it's really great to be working with people that really emphasize communication and they certainly do that here. From a realtor's perspective, I know the staff here at Finkley, Hendrick and Blake does a fantastic job. So you definitely want to consider giving them a call for your real estate needs. But I do hope that you find this helpful. If you did, please give the video a like. It helps us out a lot and we really do appreciate it. As always, my contact information is down in the description of this video, but I will also put theirs down. So feel free to give Greg's office a call if you have any further questions or any real estate needs. And we look forward to hearing from you. In the meantime, y'all take care and we'll see you on the next video.